Hi everyone, I hope I won't be too tongue-tied just because it's been a long day and this is the last video I'm filming for today but just to give you a heads up. Okay, so where do I start with this book? So when we pick a book that we feel really good about, it's usually you know beautiful to look at or it might be intriguing or interesting in in a way that reaches out to you and also you know what's important is not just to look but obviously create so if a book inspires us that's uh that's very important with this book i felt that it reached out to me on um on, on a lot more um deeper level and it is very fascinating and um, I just really wanted to share it with you. So and this book is called A Big Important Art Book Now with Women. So if you are someone who um, likes to support um, womanhood <laughs> or um, you know feminist or someone who feels quite strongly about the subject I think you will enjoy it or in general just you know enjoying being a woman or interested in that subject this book um, is is beautiful so Diane Krissa is the founder of Jealous Curator so I believe she was writing a blog um, where she showcased um, and reached out to different artists and um, kind of you know curated their work and here she decided to bring out a book and share share the love basically so this book has all sorts of um, art in here and the most important message is that these pieces of art are created strictly by women. There isn't a single man um, artist in this book. And the reason is that um, the writer feels very strongly about this subject. When she was studying, I just read a little bit of, of the intro. And the intro was the most beautiful introduction written I have ever read in, in an art book. Um, so she shared that when she started art at a university, she um, felt very strongly that there wasn't enough women um, artists that were um, introduced to um, uh, you know as, as a student and it, it was um, fascinating to her is it because there aren't women artists or is it because they're just not paid attention to what is um, the reason and so she decided then to um, look into that subject and she found out that there is a huge a huge amount of beautiful um you know female artists that have never been mentioned in art books um or you know during lectures in university and so this is her dedication to those people now what i found also very interesting is the layout of the book so for example um you get um here um the artist naomi akuba and um, obviously the the year she was born in and what country she's from so it's kind of global it's not just um, from one specific country it's globally and then she would um, reach out to the artist and sort of do like an interview and find out what um, made this woman become an artist what inspires her work what is the message behind her um, art and this is exactly what you get to read here which is beyond interesting if you love reading biographies and you love art this is like a combo of the two so you get a little kind of um, summary um, of of that um, for every artist and it's just beautiful how she dedicates um, you know pages of her book to the stories of these women and um, you'll see there basically in every uh, for the every artist there is struggle and victory 
And so the artist shares their struggles um, during the time of becoming um, an artist, what they had to go through, for example, and victories as well, what they accomplished with their art and how they um, perhaps reached out or touched others with the messages in their art. So I love um, the idea of this book. I think it's very special. It's something I have never seen done before. And it's just beautiful. That's the only thing I can say. It's absolutely beautifully um, put together and written. Also very beautifully written. She's a great writer. And um, I just love that combination of reading as well as um, looking at the pictures. And the text is, um, when I say she's a great writer, sometimes the text can be quite dry in art books. Um, hers is not. Hers is incredibly fun to read. And it's very easy to read. It's literally, you know, actually first time when I picked this book up after it was delivered, I um, had a really long day and I was quite tired. So I took it to my... Um, I took it to my bed and just um, started reading um, a few chapters of it and I was so inspired and so uplifted. It was just really a, a beautiful experience and something I haven't experienced before. So um, that is pretty much everything that I can say. You can see that the variety in art is huge. It's separated in different, um, in different. So we even had, we of course had to have Georgia O'Keeffe because she's one of the first. You know, everyone knows Georgia O'Keeffe when you study art. Um, so it's separated in chapters, and we will look into that. And I'm trying to see where the chapters are. Sometimes they are in front of the book and sometimes they are at the back. So I'm just going to flip through to the back and see if I have anything else here that I want to share with you. So... No, so it has to be... So here is Daniel Carissa. Um, I actually put... Um, a little Instagram photo when I was reading this book and she reached out and um, said thank you so a really lovely lady and I feel incredibly um, inspired by her um, ideas towards this book so here are the chapters so you get 15 chapters it's a really good book first of all I forgot to tell you it's a square format and it is beautifully um, thick so about an inch maybe just over an inch thick and you can see it's got beautiful quality um, photography beautifully put together and also the paper is great so in terms of chapters um, let's see, so there is play with um, portraits, so she's looking into portraits here and she's showcasing three artists and then televisual story and again three artists. I'm just trying to see whether there are three artists for all of them. Um, I think so, pretty much. Yeah, so and then there is obsess mediate and repeat bring the outside in create extraordinary from ordinary make craft into art love this one add a wink work with women modernize the traditional capture childhood share with the public a look to the past explore abstraction layer layers of layers freeze a moment in time she's very quirky um daniel she's very um very good like i said in terms of um writing and there is quite a nice sense of humor um of um of her writing as well and it was published in 2018 um in 
New York by the looks of it. Okay, so this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this book. This is definitely one of the very special books. Um, what I do um, is I tend to kind of sort the books into kind of groups and those books that are my favorite of the moment that I find most inspiration from, um, like in the current state, I always put to one specific kind of um, um, pile of books and this book is joining that pile for sure so thanks for watching and the link will be provided below as always and see you soon